What is up guys, and I am pretty much almost done with the S-shaped robot for a second robot, and I'm making a video to show how it all works. Just so you know, it is not completely done, um, there's still many things that need to be added, uh, but this is just basically like a rough draft for what we're going to be having. So, you can see right here, this is our loader mechanism um basically it's just a piece of dog ring that sits the gray here and it kind of angles it down and then this is the standoff that pushes the blocks upwards it's just has two standoffs under it to hold it for structure just so that this doesn't really bend whenever the balls are under it um it's pretty simple use a heavy duty axle to make it stronger without bending um, then these are the gears that keep it at that perfect height that we need it. Uh, this is our intake right here. Uh, it's the first, these are the first, the first stage of the intake. So basically, we have a 600 RPM motor right here. And this spins from 42 to a, another gear. I don't know the gearing right now. Um... And basically, we just have the blocks come up here, to here, and then the second stage is hitting these flex wheels. Um, let me put this down. Hit it to these flex wheels right here. And we have these flaps that go right here, um, which basically just help us like guide the blocks up into our intake ramp right here without like snapping rubber bands as what the intake rollers would do or the uh, like rubber band rollers would do. So you can see it basically, the flaps basically just help it guide it up here. And it still does jam some of the time, so we're still going to fix that, but just this is just a rough job. So, yeah, as you can see it right there. That is for the center goal, it comes out of here. Um, so. And then for the long goals or whatever, it comes out of here. So. Um, let's see. So yeah, you can see it did jam there. It's mainly because we, it's, I'm just testing it out. Like, I haven't really tested it out much. Um. You're still going to fix all of that, but for right now, at the time of making this video, it is not fixed. Um, let's see. Yeah, we're going to add a D-score mech like our other robot has. Um, we are running 3.25 on 450 RPM. We made it as smooth as possible. We're going to be implementing curvature drive because uh, that basically fits my driving style a lot better. Um, you can see like our intake ramp on the front. It's basically just made out of mesh, like some mesh zip tied to the C-channel. And it actually works like really well. Like you can see here, it basically just keeps it on like perfectly. Um, you can see around the back, I try to do the best wire management that I could, but there's just a lot of wires. Um, this is not the spot that the battery will be going in. It's just temporary for right now. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we do have, like, the air tank filled or whatever, so you can fill it up without it leaking. It's basically just an attachment that I have on the pump, and it's simply just one of the gauges and then a wire and then just fill up put it inside of the tube or whatever put the tube inside of here open it fill it up shut it and then I pop off the tube and it's full so that's basically how I can keep it on without leaking because the nozzles suck so um let's see what else 
So yeah, we are running 450 RPM. Let me try to get a lower angle. We're running 450 RPM. We have an inertial sensor right here. Uh, let's see. It's all really smooth. And the final robot weight is 10 pounds. That is insane. So, that means that we are super light, light for this year's game. And we are going to be very fast on the field. So, uh, two, uh, currently it's an 11 watt front end take and then 11 watt for the goals. Uh, we might change this in the future to be able to make our intakes slightly more different or not slightly more, oh my god. Different to where whenever I spin these, I can control these at like a different pace or whatever. They are two different motors currently, but like if I want to have these separate than the bottom ones, I can add like a 5.5 watt there or just other things like that. So currently that's what we have right now. Here's just like a little D score kind of mechanism, a passive D score. Um, and yeah, that's what we're rocking with right now. Make sure to like and subscribe. Uh, be sure to watch all of our videos. And hopefully, if you want to pair or any questions, my email is in my description on my channel. So make sure to check it out. Uh, end video.